Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Tyler. Today is Monday, March 27th. I serve on staff as the Director of Youth and Digital Ministry at Northwest Hills UMC, and I welcome you to this video, another in our exciting series of Linton Reflections for 2023. Now, I recognize that I did not get my Friday and or Saturday video up for you guys this week, so I'm going to try to get three videos out this week. We will see how that goes. Nevertheless, I a covenant a promise to you. I don't know if that's the correct use of covenant, but <laughs> regardless, uh, I will do my best to make sure that we leave Lent with the appropriate number of videos posted. Now, I wanted today to share a reading of Psalm chapter 6. It is one of what has become known um, as the penitential psalms. There's like seven psalms that are kind of looking at um, penitence. And it felt pretty fitting for Lent. And I really like some of the themes that will emerge in this psalm. And I wanted to write a short little devotion on them. But something that's kind of happening in the tech world right now that I am following with a lot of interest is the emergence of AI. And specifically, I've been having some fun with this tool, ChatGPT, which is a free uh, AI algorithm that you can use online and you type in prompts and it uh, regurgitates text very, very quickly. And so for funsies, I thought I would go on there and I asked it to uh, please write a short Lenten devotional on Psalm 6. And in the course of like 12 seconds, it did just that. And um, I got to be honest, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Uh <laughs> in a way that like really makes me concerned about uh, my own future employability. Um, and so as a part of our own sort of communal penitence <laughs> and reflection, as we consider the role that technology plays in our lives, and I think it's really fascinating that technology is always changing around us and we're incorporating all of this new technology and yet our minds and our bodies change a lot slower. And so I think that we incorporate a lot of technology into our lives, like this little guy, that we don't necessarily fully recognize the effects of it until way, way longer in the future when it's already kind of become a problem in our lives. And so in the spirit of that, I thought what I could do today is share with you this reading of Psalm 6, and then I want to read you the devotional that the internet algorithm chat GPT wrote. Um, and I'll remind you that I asked it, please write a short Linton devotional on Psalm 6. And it took this program like maybe 10 seconds to do this. I'm going to read it verbatim with the exception of um, where it uses like masculine pronouns for God. I'm going to substitute those out to just say God or God self. Otherwise, what I'll be reading you is exactly what the internet algorithm created. Uh, so if you'll take a moment of silence to prepare this he to hear this word from the Lord. <sighs> oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O oh Lord, for I am languishing O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are shaking with terror. My soul also is struck with terror, while you, O oh Lord, how long? Turn, O oh Lord, save my life. Deliver me for the sake of your steadfast love, for in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who can give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eyes waste away because of grief. They grow weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and struck with terror. They shall turn back and in a moment be put to shame. These are holy words for holy people. Thanks be to God. And now I hope that in the reading of that psalm, that stirred some things in your own life that caused you to reflect or think further on that. Um, but for the sake of this particular thought experiment of this devotional, I will not share my own thoughts 
and instead we'll now turn to the uh, chat GPT written devotional. So chat GPT says, Psalm 6 is a heartfelt cry of anguish and distress as the psalmist pleads with God to hear his prayer and deliver him from his troubles. It is a powerful reminder of the depth of our human weakness and the comfort that we can find in turning to God in times of trouble. In this season of Lent, as we reflect on the sacrifice of Christ on the cross and our own need for repentance and renewal, Psalm 6 can serve as a guide for our prayers. Like the psalmist, we too can come before God in humility and desperation, acknowledging our sinfulness and our need for God's mercy. Yet even in the midst of our pain and suffering, we can hold fast to the hope that comes from our faith in Christ. As the psalmist says in verse 9, The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. We can trust in the promise that God hears our cries and will answer us in his perfect timing and God's perfect way. So as we journey through this Lenten season, may we turn to Psalm 6 as a source of comfort and strength, knowing that God with us, God is with us in our struggles and that God will never leave or forsake us. May we find renewed faith and hope in God's unfailing love and God's eternal promises. And may we continue to seek God with all our hearts. Wow. So those are the wise words of chat GPT. I actually think it's a pretty good devotional. Uh, and again, it kind of fills me with this uh, weird sense of uh, interest and also intimidation and also a little bit of terror. I'm uh, struck by the way that the algorithm is influenced by the biases of the things that it interprets. You'll notice that I slipped over one of the pronouns for God uh, and said his instead of God, which was something that I was trying to change. That's just a personal practice of my own. But because the algorithm learns based on human writing, uh, it has probably seen a lot of God referred to as male. Uh, and so that showed up pretty frequently in its writing. Wow, fascinating stuff. But I do hope that this uh, devotional from ChatGPT both served you in your own spiritual journey and then also provided you with some food for thought and reflection in terms of how it is that we, as a people of faith, uh, weave technology into our lives. I'll see you later this week.